this is Sean. We are on this job today and we've got a very flat yard here and so we're trying to get everything trenched so that it falls correctly and so I called in my stump grinder friend. We had a couple of routes to go through and this homeowner is getting new gutters, he's getting the piping redone, he's getting new concrete and he's basically trying to save his house and so he said all other considerations are secondary to getting this water out of here so here we're we're trenching through some of the roots and I said you know we hopefully we won't hurt the trees but there's a chance of it he said he said kill the tree if you have to he said my house is more important than the tree and so it was just me and Jeremy working today so didn't get a lot of footage To the foundation and this front entry walkway was also just in bad shape and luckily the homeowner was was very willing to get all this corrected right and correctly so he said cut the concrete he said run your pipe he said we're gonna replace the concrete anyway so we were able to cut the concrete put our pipe in there didn't have to worry about patching it because it was all getting replaced and so we're getting the pipes in here and getting this flooding problem fixed. When you're trenching on flat ground like this you really have to fight with the pipe a little bit to get it to fall correctly so here I'm taking the initial trench across but after this we have to put our pipe in there and check it for fall and get maybe get the trencher back out and retrench it if we're not quite there yet so it's tempting to just throw the pipe in there and call it done but really getting the level on there is what's going to tell you if you're right or not. Drop your side, send it. I got it. We got this other side trenched and we're getting it covered up here. And whenever you're dealing with fairly flat area like this, you really have to fuss with it and screw around and trench and throw your pipe in there and trench again. But what you see here is when you fuss around with it so much you really do get good fall everywhere so as opposed to just trenching this thing and throwing the pipe in there may be a high spot here or even a low spot so you can see it flattens out a little bit but we still have just about a quarter bubble right there so same kind of thing right there we got about a quarter bubble there which a quarter bubble is what you need but we'll take as much as we can get so we got quarter bubble there quarter bubble there now we're back to a full bubble so the ground is kind of going down too but again that's how you tell the pipe is installed correctly or properly if you want to say it that way the level doesn't lie and if that pipe is slipping downhill, that water is going to gush through there. Mm-hmm. 
Everything's got good fall on it. We're in a fairly level yard here, so we didn't have a lot of fall to work with. So we ended up, as usual, we have to come higher on this side. That'll, that's one way to achieve fall. And it's funny because sometimes, so when we get this covered up, it won't really be covered up all that well because it's so high. I'll get some YouTubers on my channel if you've seen comments. They say the pipe's not installed correctly. So, how, what do I consider correctly? Well, I consider a pipe installed correctly when my level says it's got fall and during a rainstorm, which this isn't really that much, but the pipe is gushing. So that's how I consider a pipe installed correctly. And this homeowner, you can see how flat this, this area is. He said every every all other considerations are irrelevant compared to getting this piping in here right because he's been having flooding and it's damaging his house so he's getting all this concrete replaced and he said whatever you have to do to get the pipes working the way they're supposed to do it he said if you have to cut the concrete cut it if you have to if it's exposed on the house leave it exposed so hopefully this rain will stop when we get back to work. We caught this gutter. There was a corrugated pipe underneath there and we kind of shoved our pipe under there and tried to piece it together without tearing up too much of the deck. So we're just about finished up. We're cleaning up but it started pouring again. So that's all water that was flooding their basement. And I don't know if you can see under there or not, but that's just a solid pipe coming out of there. Just to give that water a place to go and get it out of here. 